Hello, welcome to another C3 Stingray video. This is my 1979 Corvette that I'm working on. It's got some carburetor issues, um, but it runs pretty decent. It just needs some cleaning up. The interior is in surprisingly decent shape. There's a couple cuts in the seats, but nothing big. I actually think most of it's going to clean up pretty nice. Just got to replace a couple pieces, but it doesn't look too bad. I've already dropped the gas tank in it because I had to replace the sending unit and I wanted to flush the tank out. Needs rebuilt trailing arms. I have a leaky transmission, a couple body mounts, but today we're going to work on rebuilding the calipers. Now the first thing you want to do while the calipers are on the car is just break loose the two bolts that hold the halves, caliper halves together. Then you want to get your brake line off which I already have and then remove the two bolts that hold the caliper on and it should pop right off. Now you want to take out that cotter key and remove the pin that holds the the brake pads in. And next up is taking out the bleeder valves. The deluxe kit that you get comes with new bleeder valves but you might want to hang on to these old ones because you never know when you're going to need a bleeder valve and it's nice to have just a couple spares laying, lying around. Next up you're going to want to take out those bolts that you broke loose while it was on the car that hold the two caliper halves together. Just remove these bolts all, to get, all the way out. Um, you might have to pry it apart but most of them just kind of fall apart once you get those bolts out like this one does. Now there's going to be some brake fluid still in the caliper so I have a bucket on the floor. I just hold it over the bucket and push those pistons in and squirt the rest of the brake fluid out. Now you're going to want to remove the pistons or the seals holding the pistons in. I have a seal puller tool that I use. You can use a screwdriver, but these tools are, are less than $10 to buy and it's, they work pretty good. You just get a hook, hook underneath the lip of the seal and pull back and it pops right out. You'll use it for a lot of other things, so it's kind of a nice tool to have around. And for under 10 bucks, it's worth having. So you're going to need to remove all the seals, all the pistons, and the springs. And then you're going to start cleaning this caliper up. Check those cylinder walls though to make sure they're good before you go any farther. If they're all scarred up or in bad shape, you're going to have to do something about that before you can rebuild. But assuming that your cylinder walls are good, just start cleaning it up. Then I use the wire brush to get all the crud off so I can paint them. Here they are painted. I painted these black. I took the old seals and stuck them in the back just to uh, protect the cylinder walls while I painted. I'll just pop those back out again and throw them away. Here's the new deluxe rebuild kit. You get four pistons, four springs, all your seals, get the one o-ring for the rear caliper, there's your new bleeder valves, and your pin and cutter key. This is the front caliper set. It's exactly the same except they're bigger pistons obviously. And you get an extra little o-ring because you need two o-rings for the front calipers. Now you're going to want to put the pistons and seals in. Now these um, seals this has a, a smooth side and a side with a lip on it. You want the lip pushing downward into the piston. That's what holds the brake fluid in. I lube everything up with um, brake fluid. I have some brake fluid in a little bowl there that I'm kind of lubing everything up with. It'll just slip right over the piston into the little groove where it's supposed to go. Make sure the lip is facing down like I said. And you want to lube that up. Lube up to your walls to make sure it's, you know, there's no, it's nice and lubricated so it smooths and goes in easy. Now I take a, yeah, put your spring on 
and I have a, like a credit card and a small screwdriver that I use you have to work that lip in there you gotta be careful not to rip the rubber so you just slowly work it in there until you get it all the way in where the piston will slide down into the cylinder it's a little time consuming they do sell a tool to do this but I'm not sure how often you would use that tool to make worthwhile but there is a tool that you can buy now I want to put the other seal on that holds the piston in place lube that up hold it over the piston and the spring will push it back and it'll pop right into the little groove where it holds it now you just want to take in the right size socket and put the is you know it goes over the edge the lip of the seal and just tap it down it goes on pretty easy but you want to keep feeling the edge to make sure it's smooth and you know it's flush with the caliper so you just kind of kind of keep tapping it until you feel like you've got it down good and it's even all the way around and smooth with the edge this is the o-ring it goes right there when the two halves go together on the front caliper there'll be two of those o-rings so we just gotta put one more piston in here it is completed all the pistons are in got new bleeder valves you want to torque down these bolts to the proper specifications the rear ones aren't that high of a torque but the front ones are torqued pretty high there's a new pin and cotter key for the brake pads. This baby's ready to go. So here's all four calipers rebuilt and ready to go back on the car. I'm not going to put them back on the car yet because I got a lot more stuff to do. But if you're looking for an alternative to high cost calipers and you're willing to put a little work in yourself, you can rebuild all four of your calipers for a fraction of the cost. And you can find these rebuild kits on my website at c3stingray.com. Next step is taking off those trailing arms and rebuilding those. Now that's going to be a job. So check out my other video. Thanks for watching.